Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, we will be doing McCall patterns from 2015. Now, before I get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload an amazing video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the pattern, but I want to make a note that Joann's is having a McCall's pattern sale this week July 15th through the 18th. So the patterns that I am showing may still be in the drawer. You just have to check if it's something that you would like or whatever. I'm trying to do the videos a little early so you're able to make that list and go to Joann's and pick up the patterns that you would like. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the new video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the patterns that I have from, of McCall's from 2015. Now, I'm going to start with the early spring patterns first. And the first one is McCall 7046. That's this one right here. I picked it up for view C. And whenever I get around to this pattern, that's the view that I would do. Once again, it's 7046. Next one is 7047. I picked this up because I seen Mimi G do this pattern as part of Michael Levine collabor collaboration back in 2015 or 2016. I can't remember the year. Um, but whenever I get around to this uh, top, because uh, I just found out over the weekend that my sister is now engaged. So it would be great to do this um, for her wedding whenever I get the dates. From her, it would be great, and it's 7047. Next one is 7048. Um, I like it for a view B, and that's the view that I would do whenever I get around to this pattern. Next one is 7049. I love view A. Yes, yes, yes. But I also like view B as well, so I would do one of those views whenever I get around to the pattern. It's 7049. Next one is 7050. So I have the fabric for this pattern. I also have uh, the notions that you need in order to complete this pattern as well. Um, I'm not sure whenever I get around to this pattern, I know that I would do this red dress right here, which is view B. And this is 7050. Next one is 7054. I love this trumpet style um, skirt. So this may be something that I would do for the summer skirt series next year or something. It wouldn't be something that I would do for the scoop challenge. I like view A and that's the view that I plan on doing whenever I get around to this pattern. It's 7054. Next one, 7055. I think this is a reissue pattern. I cannot remember to be honest, um, but this is a learn to sew pattern by McCall's. McCall's uh, have these patterns that are learned to sew. So um, this is one of those and then you just kind of learn how to sew different things and have different techniques underneath your belt. But this is 7055. This one is 7081. I love this little faux wrapped uh, dress. I like it for all the views really, but what spoke to me when I picked up this pattern is view C and that's the view that I will possibly do. Next one is 7082, and th this one is um, a Mommy and Me pattern that I've seen. I cannot think of the pattern for the child, but this is something that I would probably do for an Easter dress with my daughter. But as an everyday dress, I would do View B and also do it in kind of like a color block like you see here, and this is 7082. The next one is uh, 7084. This would be a great um shirt dress and this could be used also um, as part of battle of the shirt dress that i plan on doing for spring you have heard me say this uh two or three times now but um i will be doing a battle of the shirt dress during the spring season and view b is the one that i'm looking at so that would probably be the one that i would do if i decide to use this pattern as a mccall's pattern because i will be doing one butterick one McCall's, one Simplicity, one New Look, and possibly one Vogue. Next one is 7087. 
Now, the reason why I picked this up is because this is like a 1963 style uh, pattern. I like it for view A, and that's the view that I would do whenever I get around to this pattern. This could be like a vintage collection um, to put together like five things from, for a vintage collection. That would be great to use utilize this pattern for. 7087 is the pattern number once again. 7085 is the next pattern. Um, I like it for view F on the pattern, and that's probably the view that I would do once I, once I get around to this uh, pattern as well. I like the um, neckline, so that's what drew me to this pattern, and it's 7085. The next one is 7089. I like the color block, and I think that's why I picked it up, but this is kind of like one of those patterns where you could create a good fit. This could be used as a shell pattern, and what that means is basically a fitting shell to fit towards your body and make any adjustments that you will need in order to create a nice, um, you know, block for yourself to match up with your body. So it'll be good for that, and it's a 7089. 7090, I have not done this pattern, but I have done different things to this on the pattern the pieces that I would use to create different looks. This would be great as a yoke dress or a wrap dress, uh, but this is 7090. Next one is 7091. I like this little drape on view C. That's the reason why I picked it up. And once again, it's 7091. The next one is 7093, and I picked up two of these. And it's in different sizes, so I'm gonna keep both of those. Um, but I got it for view B, and that's the view that I would do whenever I get around to this pattern. And once again, this pattern number is 7093. The next one is 7094. I like a great Henley style uh, top, and this would be great for that. You could even extend it and make it a dress as well. I picked it up for view C, and that's the view I would probably do when I get around to this pattern, and it's 7094. Next one is 7095. I love this top. Um, I have seen, I think it's Emily Hallman have done this top. I like it for view C, but I would not uh, do a contrast for it. I would just leave it as is in one solid color um, or one solid fabric, and it's a 7095. Next one is 7096. I like the uh, slit in the skirt. That's the reason why I picked it up. But once again, this is 7096. Next one, I have two of these. And it's 7098. Um, I think I forgot that I picked it up, which is the reason why I have two of these patterns. Um, and I'm keeping both of them because you could never have too many. You know, I can use one for shorts, one for pants, one to make for... A family member you never know but this is 7098 and I have seen Erica Bunker do this pattern so that's probably the reason why I picked it up and once again is 7098 next one is 7099 I have seen Montoya Mayo make this pattern I have seen Mimi G make this pattern it is a great jumpsuit pattern it is a knit pattern so make sure you use knit and also read the pattern because you know reading is the two F's fundamental and free so make sure you read the patterns when you cutting out patterns and picking your pattern and it's 7099 and the last pattern for the early spring would be this gorgeous uh bomber jacket which is 7100 this one has made its way around instagram and facebook i have seen so many people do this pattern when it came out and once again it's 7100 that would be great to use as like a battle of the bomber jackets. You know, just another series that I just told you about. The next ones are spring patterns. The first one is 7115. I have seen um, Anita by Design do this pattern. She did this as part of her beginner sewing course, I think is what it is. And I think she did view D on this pattern. This would be great. This would be something that I would do as well. Um, and it's 7115. Next one is 7116. I love this. It's kind of like a um, empire style dress or a high-waisted dress. 
Um, I can't remember the exact name for these type of dresses, but this is great. And this pattern number is 7116. Next one is 7119. I like the full wrap um, to this dress. And once again, it's 7119. 7120, I like that this is a learn to sew pattern. It is a basic, easy pattern to sew. So this may be something that I may get around to doing for the scoop challenge. Not sure yet because my list is growing and it's 7120. Next one is 7121. I like view D. I also like view A and B. So this pattern is, needs to be in my list of sewing pretty soon. And it is 7121. 7122, I have seen Brittany J. Jones do this pattern. This is also a learn to sew pattern. So this, the learn to sew patterns is something for beginners. So if you are a beginner, pick up one of these patterns. And I know this one is still in the pattern drawer. Pick up the pattern and you can learn, learn how to do different things. That's the reason for the little different steps that says attach a neck band, sew a raglan sleeve, you know, um, use knit fabric or even stitch your hem, stitch in a straight line. So there's many different things that you can do with these learn to sew patterns. So pick one up and try it out if you are a beginner. But uh, this is 7122. Next one is 7129. This has been on my list to sew. I should have sewn it during the summer skirt series for the wrap skirt um, because I could have sewn this skirt with a boxy top and called it a day and it would have been great. And, but this is 7129, something that I may tend to do next year. Next one is 7130. This can be used as a skirt or a dress. You just pull it up. Um, this is view D is the one that I like. And once again, it's 7130. Next is 7131. I love the culottes. That's the view I would do whenever I get around to this pattern. And it's 7131. 7132. I love this... Um, color blocked cardigan, I guess you could say. But once again, it's 7132. And the last one for the spring section, session or pattern is 7133. I love this two piece right here. You could also make it all one piece as well. Um, but this is 7133. Now moving on to the summer 2015 patterns, the early, uh, I'm sorry, the summer patterns. The first one is 7156. I love the jumpsuit. That's the one that I would do, view D and view B, but this is 7156. 7158, this one you cannot find in the pattern drawer. This is an amazing pattern. I have seen Anita by Design do this pattern, um, but this would be a great summer pattern. It's 7158. The next one is 7159. It's a learn to sew pattern. Um, I love that it has that uh, bow or tie belt <laughs> for this pattern, and it's 7159. 7160, love the V-neck, love the style of the uh, pattern, and it's 7160. 7162, I love that this is a top, but I did not get it for the sake of it being a top. What I plan on doing with this pattern is uh, extending it to make a dress, extend the bodice down, and then leave the peplum as is and create a nice, lovely dress. Um, but this is 7162. 7163, I have seen this made so many times. I have even seen Emily Hallman make this pattern. It's 7163. Next one is 7164. I love the pants. I love view B, but I also like view D on this pattern for the pants, and it's 7164. Next one is 7165. I like the shorts. I need to make a series on shorts, just make tons of shorts for the summertime because it gets really hot here in Orlando. It's 7165. 7166, I like the two piece. Now me, I don't think I would do the long skirt. I would probably do the short skirt and bring it down a little bit uh, further than just the thigh, probably down to the knees for that little ruffle section. But I like this pattern and it's 7166. And the last one for the summer is 7167. I like view D, I like view C. So that's one of the views I would do whenever I get around to this pattern. And it's 7167. Now moving on to the early fall patterns. 
First one, I love this. It has been on my list forever. It's 7186. I like view B. I like view D. And I like view C. I like every single view on this pattern. So I think this pink one is probably what I would do because I do have some pink fabric in my stash that I could do this dress for. And it's 7186. It would be great for a uh, um, Valentine's Day dress as well. 7186. 7187. This has been on my list forever since I picked it up. I like that it's in a plaid slash uh, tartan plaid fabric. I don't have any in my stash, but I could easily go pick some up. Um, but it's 7187. 7188. Um, I like view B on the pattern. I don't care for the pockets right at your bust area, so I would leave that off, but it's 7188. 7192, basic style top. I love it. I'm here for it. So that's one of the views that I would do, and it's 7192. The next one is 7195. This has been on my uh, list forever. It's just basically a basic sweater. Um, so I love it, and it's 7195. 7196, I like the pleat in the shirt. And I like view A, so that's the view I would do whenever I get around to this pattern. And it's 7196. 7197, I love this. I have two of them. Um, and if you are interested in this pattern, make sure that you DM me on Instagram. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And DM me on Instagram and let me know that you are interested in this pattern. And it's McCall7197. Make sure you let me know that you want 7197 when you DM me on Instagram. And once again, this pattern number is 7197. And up for grab if you would like this pattern. The only thing is you must be between the uh, sizes of 14 to 22. Next one is 7200. This is a cardigan. This is the view that I would do, which is view B, and it's 7200. This one has been on my list forever, 7201. I love view B. This is the Nancy Zeman pattern. Rest in peace, Nancy. Um, but this is 7201. 7203, I love the jumpsuit. I think I would do the elastic at the very bottom as well and use it as some lounge, you know, lounge wear to lounge around the house. But this is 7203. And the last uh, early fall pattern is 7206. I have seen this on Norris. He have done this pattern two or three times. Color blocked it as well. So this is view B. I would probably do it for my husband. However, I would do it for myself as well. Uh, so, But this is 7206. Moving on to the fall patterns for 2015. First one is 7240. This is a basic knit pattern. You know, you can't go wrong with a basic knit pattern to sew up quickly. But this is 7240. 7241, I love view D on the pattern and that's the view that I would do whenever I get around to this pattern, but it's 7241. I have done this pattern, this is 7243. Brittany J. Jones have done this pattern, I have done this pattern. It has, it has made its round on the internet, um, but this is 7243. I think I did this pattern back in 2017 anyway. Um, next one is 7244. I have not done this pattern, but it's been on my list to do forever. But this is 7244. Next one is 7246. Love this pattern. Haven't gotten around to doing this pattern yet, but the view that I would do is view D, and it's 7246. 7247. I have not done this pattern, but I am interested in doing this pattern, and it's view D that I would want to do. It's 7247. 7249. Now, I think this pattern was gifted to me. I like it for view D, kind of like a crisscross dress. And that's the view that I would do. It's 7249. 7253. Now, with this pattern, I just did this pattern for the summer skirt series. I want to do it again. I may end up doing it again this summer. If not this summer, it will definitely be back on the list to do for next summer. This was a hit. 
I'll throw up some pictures on what it looked like made up. It's 7253. I have done this pattern. Um, Crumpet T and Sewing have done this pattern. This pattern is really, really nice for a pleated skirt. Once again, that's 7253. Next one is 7254. It is a cardigan slash vest. Um, I'm not interested in doing it right at this time, but this is 7254. 7255, a nice um, poncho, basically. I would do view D whenever I get around to this pattern. It's 7255. Next one, 7259. Now, one thing I want to mention about this pattern is you cannot find this pattern at all. I had to, well, I purchased this pattern when it first came out. After about two months, there, it was no longer available in the pattern drawer. Not sure why. I have seen Mimi G do this pattern, which is why I picked the pattern up. Just looking at the pattern, I would not be interested in picking it up at all. Um, so therefore, this pattern is 7259, and I am interested in doing this uh, coat one day. Next one is 7261. Now, I really do not sew my own workout clothes, but I may tend to do so in the upcoming year. But this is 7261, and I know this was part of a Sew Your View one. Uh, one month. I think it was last year or the year before. Next one is 7262. The reason why I picked it up is because Mimi G has a tutorial on YouTube for this. I think she did it at, in part with Michael Levine collaboration. But once again, it's 7262. The next patterns are winter 2015 patterns. And the first one is 6280. I love the little uh, crop top with the dress it is not a skirt it's a dress um so not interested in doing it right at this moment but i am interested in doing it someday but this is 7280 7281 this will be great to use as like if you're going to a wedding or a holiday you are the creator so you just pick different pieces that you want to use in order to do this dress it's 7281 7282 is the next one. Um, I'm not sure why I really picked the pattern up, to be honest with you. I like it, but am I in love with it? No. So um, whenever I get around to this pattern, it's 7282. Next one is 7283. This is a great holiday dress. I could actually see me myself doing view B on the pattern. So um, that one shoulder right here as well, I like it. It's 7283. 7286. Mm, this is one of the patterns where it's like, oh, okay, I picked it up because it was probably 99 cents uh, when I picked it up because that was very long ago. So I'm not in love with the pattern, but I have it. I can say that, but there's 7286. 7287, I love this trumpet dress, I mean skirt. View B is what I am here for. I love this view. Um, and I like view A as well, but this is 7287. Next one is on the yes list for a jacket, a business jacket too. 7288, and I'm here for view B. That's the view that I would do whenever I get around to this pattern. 7290, I like view B, but I also like view C, so that's one of the views I would do. 7290. 7292, I have seen Erica Bunker do this pattern. I like view A, the sleeveless version, so that's probably the view that I would do. And once again, it's 7292. Next one is 7293. I love the jacket in this pattern, but um, I'm... Not sure if I would do it anytime soon because I don't make a lot of athletic wear. And it's 7293. Next one is 7296. I have seen Anita by Design do this pattern. Um, and she did it like lounge wear. And that's what I'm interested in using this pattern for. But it's 7296. And the last pattern for 2015 is 7298. Um... I have the pattern, but I'm not totally interested in doing this pattern, but I have it. So it's 7298. And that's all the patterns that I have for McCall's 2015. 
Well, there you have it. That's all the patterns from that I have from McCall's 2015. So like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload an amazing video. So until next time, bye!